What's the good word, y'all? Welcome to New York Jets and the Kitchen. Channel. It's your boy DKB here. So our New York Jets training camp schedule uh, officially got provided by the New York Jets. We see the full slate of uh, open practices to the public, and this gives us a deeper dive uh, into seeing this Aaron Rodgers led New York Jets de- uh, offense and defensively uh, pick your choice. Uh, the C.J. Mosley, Sauce Gardner, Quinnen Williams uh, uh, led defense. And uh, to be honest, I'm really, really excited here. Looks like we have nine practices that will be open to the public. Uh, they released some information also saying for those that wouldn't be able to attend, they're going to be shooting some uh, some live footage as well. Um, and then, of course, they'll have some commentary and analysis and things there. So you can still feel like you're uh, tuned in and a part to what's going on without having to get a bunch of secondhand information necessarily, which is dope. Uh, but I'm also particularly interested in the August 16th and August 17th training camp dates because those are going to be our joint practices versus the Buccaneers and if what the rumors are saying are true that the the New York Jets will be forced to be on hard knocks that could be two particularly interesting sessions where the Buccaneers uh by default get looped into that whole um uh you know entourage of hard knocks camera crewmen and all of that so maybe we get some kind of uh analysis on what Former head coach from the New York Jets, Todd Bowles, is seeing when he's preparing against Aaron Rodgers uh, and vice versa when our, uh, um, you know, defense is out there on the field. Maybe what he's seeing, some of the caliber of players that he never even got close to sniffing when he was with this time with the New York Jets. So not a lot, not a, you know, even aside from that, I did do a little bit of digging. I did see that Aaron Rodgers has a one and two record versus the Buccaneers. So this will kind of be an early itch we can kind of scratch uh, where where they've been one of the few teams that have had Aaron Rodgers numbers, uh, you know, throughout the course of his uh, vaunted career so far. So hopefully, uh, much like we've seen with uh, the last time we ran joint practices, we can jump on this team early. We can jump on them often. And a lot of these reports that will come out will end up saying uh, how overmatched the Buccaneers ended up looking, which will be, you know, the best news we can get uh, while we get primed for, uh, you know, the regular season to kick off. And if I'm remembering correctly, the Buccaneers is our second preseason game. uh, So that should be a pretty nice tune up. I'll also be interested to see if, because there's been a lot of firsts that have been happening this offseason, if Aaron Rodgers will partake in any preseason games, I don't know what the, the game plan and strategy would be there. Maybe, you know, maybe one since we are playing four uh, just as a way for him to, you, you know, get some last minute uh, sinking chemistry issues out of the way with the team. Um, but this is going to be the Zach Wilson show. So all eyes on him. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, I would say tune into the running back two battle. Uh, where we expect Israel Abandi Kanda to really take on that role, but it's up for grabs. Uh, I would say Michael Carter and Bam Knight uh, are, are on the outside looking in as potential cut candidates for sure. Um, and then other than that, safety and linebacker will probably be the, the only other real interesting positions off the top of my head right now. But let me know what you guys are thinking about in terms of training camp. What are you uh, uh, excited to see? And I'll catch you guys again. Peace.